So you want to know how to draw an ellipse, right? All right, I'll walk you through it. It's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is figure out how wide you want your ellipse to be. So here I'm just marking the two ends of my hardwood table here. And now you want to find the midpoint of where you want your ellipse to be. And I'm marking the top of the table. That's the height. That's the outermost uh, space that the parabola will go. And then I'm also going to mark the bottom as well. So my ellipse will fit within that space, if you will. And now I want to find the exact midpoint, intersect my previous line on one side, and then repeat it on the other side. And now I'm going to measure my two ends where I want my parabola to be and find the exact midpoint. And I'll mark that. And same for my top and bottom marks. I'm going to measure those, find the exact midpoint, and make a mark. And those two should intersect. And now using my T-square, I'm going to draw a line stretching the length of this board, connecting both of my lines that I previously had made. Now using my square, I'm going to put the corner into the direct center of the ellipse and I'm going to figure out what that number is to my mark. Now whatever that number was, I'm going to again take my corner to the very top mark and whatever my number was where it intersects on my axis, that's where I'm going to make a mark. So remember, you got to keep the same number from the width and use that to connect the top dot to the intersection point on the line. And you're going to do the same thing for the other side as well. Whatever your length was and wherever it intersects in that line, that's you want to make your mark. Okay, so now the two points that you just marked on that horizontal line, you're going to want to either put a screw or a nail in each one of those. And then also a screw or a nail in the top point that you marked in the beginning. And there you have your three screws at your three major points. And now comes the fun part. Get either twine, string, or rope, wrap it around those three screws, and tie a taut knot right in the middle. And now you want to unscrew just the top screw. So now you can pull your string or line taut. And you can put your pencil or pen in there. And now you're going to be able to make a sweet ellipse. So now you want to get a sharp pencil, hopefully a round one or a pen. And you want to pull the string taut with the tip of the pencil. And just follow it all around the shape. This oak was extremely rough. I should have sanded it beforehand. My pencil got hung up in a couple of spots, but you get the idea. Just round it all the way around till you reach the point again. And there you go. Your ellipse is drawn. Congratulations. So now you get your trusty jigsaw with hopefully a hardwood blade if you're using oak or maple, and just go to town. I put the jog on two on this particular Porter Cable jigsaw. Just follow my line all the way around. And that's the final side. Follow that bad boy. And before you know it, you're gonna have a beautiful ellipse. Now for this particular project, clamped it down, got my 60 grit sandpaper, and just ran my orbital. And you just got to sand the whole thing. Sand your life away. 60, 120, 
and then 220 grit. So if you have the skills to pay the bills, you can make a cool looking table just like this with the top of the ellipse and the base as well. I'm going to use my router, put a nice profile on the edge, stain it, seal it, and we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.